Hi everyone, this is Matt Miller, your Dean of Online Instruction. Today I wanted to share with you uh, just sort of a little trick that you might use in Canvas. Uh, some faculty have come to me and said, Matt, how do I get rid of the test student in my course? So remember folks, whenever you're in Canvas, on the home page, you have a, a menu item over here called Student View. You also have it in Settings in the upper right hand corner, uh, but uh, here on the home page, if you ever, when you're building your course or you're working on your course and you want to kind of look at the course the way a student would see it, uh, you can click on Student View and it gives you, uh, it will hide menu items and hide items that you can't get to. Now, keep in mind, it is not 100% in terms of what your students will see in the course. So, um, it, it, it does give you kind of an idea of what's visible and what's shown, but you still retain some of your instructor powers, as it were, uh, to be able to uh, do some things in your class, even in the student view, that your students simply do not have. Uh, so again, keep in mind, it's not 100%, but you are able to click on student view, and you'll notice that any of the hidden menu items will no longer appear over here. Uh, I can go through the course the way a student would see it for the most part and take tests and do things like that and that's nice it's a good feature and if i want to get out of student view you go down here to this big magenta or pink bar down here and you choose leave student view uh, and what it does is, is uh, it does actually record uh, whenever you're in student view and take tests and submit assignments. It actually records that information. So it's a really good learning tool to kind of help you, <coughs> excuse me, uh, uh, experience most of the things that a student would experience in your course as you're building it, just to kind of get an idea better, maybe how to help students if they're having trouble or for whatever reason. So it's a nice feature. The problem is, and this is where I get some complaints from faculty, uh, is when I go to my grades over here, my grade book, you'll notice that in addition to the regular students that I have in my course, that now I have this test student. Again, it makes sense if I'm uh, taking tests and I'm submitting assignments uh, as a test student to kind of check it out or whatever, that it would record them here in the grade book. Several of you, though, have mentioned to me, Matt, this is annoying. Please help me get rid of this. How do I do that? And so uh, with a little uh, Googling and a little uh, looking around, I found a way to do that uh, to show you how to do it. And that's what I want to share with you now. So if I want to get rid of this test student from my grade book, keep in mind it would only be a temporary fix. If I ever go back to student view, it's going to put the test student back in there on the grade book. So each time you would have to repeat what I'm about to show you. So to get rid of this test student out of my grade book uh, and out of the course in, entirely, I first of all need to go back to my menu. So in my grade book, if I click on these three horizontal bars, it's going to take me back to my menu here. And I want to scroll down to settings. Okay. So in settings, generally, you'll see that there's some tabs across the top, course details, sections, and so on. So in settings, I want to choose sections. Okay. And then I simply want to click on this class. When I do that, it's going to show me all of my course enrollments. Okay, If I scroll down here to the test student and I hover my mouse over the uh, student uh, comma test, then you'll see that I have the ability then to remove this user from the course. Now you will not be able to remove anyone else in your course, but you can remove the test student. So by clicking this little red X, it's going to ask you if you want to delete it. You're going to say yes, and it will delete it and reset it. Okay, so that uh, when I go back to my grades, you will see that there is no longer a test student visible, just my regular students. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I just go to settings, choose sections, click on the course, and remove the students. Now, again, this is only temporary, so if I ever choose to go back and click on student view to view the course as my students would, then I would click on that. And uh, obviously, you know, could take tests and do all the things there. Leave the student view. And now if I go back to my grades, guess what? <laughs> You're going to see the student test again. But you already know how to get rid of it. So uh, you can do that uh, again very, very easily and, uh, and take care of it that way. Unfortunately, every time you click on student view, guess what? You're going to get the, uh, the test student back in your course. So just keep that in mind. And if you have any questions or anything else, please let me know. I do hope you enjoy uh, these videos. If you do, um, don't hit, uh, hit the subscribe button down here over there. Uh, and uh, be sure and subscribe. That way you're, uh, you can have access to all my videos. So thanks a lot and have a great day.